When adding dimensions to drawings, we have a number of options available to us. The first that we're going to look at is the ability to add dimensions directly from the 3D model. In order to access this, we go to our Insert, Model Items. We have a couple of options available, Entire Model or Selected Features. We're going to go with Entire Model and select all the dimensions. Another thing to be aware of is that we can actually use the dimension placement in Sketch. So this is where they'll actually put the dimensions as you've dimensioned them in your 2D sketches. Now this isn't always required because obviously we don't always dimension in sketches uh, with drawings in mind. So we can actually untick this and what this will do is use the options that are in your tools options with regards to placement. And if we accept this you can see the dimensions are all added for all the features. The one thing about these dimensions, these are known as driving dimensions because these have actually come from the model itself and if I double click them you can see that I can in fact change the value which will also not just update the view but also update the model as well. Now it may well be that we don't actually want to use this functionality and what we'd like to do is dimensions our drawings manually so I'm just deleting these and we're going to look at another option of just adding the dimensions manually. If I just click on our Smart Dimension tool, I can just happily click on my dimensions as you would do uh, in a sketch. Uh, and just literally go around the model selecting all the different features. The difference here is that these dimensions are actually driven. These are actually driven by the model, hence they cannot be changed unlike our previous ones where we could actually drive the actual dimensions from the drawing. Now the only thing with this is it can be quite time consuming so what we're going to do is I'm just going to actually uh, remove these dimensions and again we're going to go into our smart dimension and I have got the ability to use the auto dimension tool. If I actually click in here and I've got some options on baseline or chain I'm going to stick with baseline and just click in the view and I can actually add on the edges that I want to dimension from. In my case I've just chosen uh, the bottom and the left hand edges and all I'm going to do is actually just accept this and you can see that it's added all the dimensions on similar to what we had before. The difference being is that these are actually unable to be changed. Okay so that's one way of actually adding dimensions on. Another way is using what we call the Dim Expert. And again, if we click on our Smart Dimension tool, I have the Dim Expert option here. And I'm just going to click on this option. And as we run through it, uh, I'm just going to go with Linear Dimension Baseline. And again, I can do the selection by edges or I can do it from a vertex or a hole center. We're just going to click on this hole center here. And instead of just accepting this, what we have got an option of doing in the Dim Expert is to select the individual features. And as I click on the holes, you can see that it adds the dimensions as I require. It comes out with whole call-out messages, which I'm just going to turn off. But you can see how it's placed there. Now, the nice thing about this is that I can actually, it'll pick up groups or patterns. And if I click on this particular hole as well, watch how it spaces out these dimensions here to actually fit these extra dimensions in. So again, that's actually placed these. I can actually click on edges and it'll put in the actual length of it. And what's also nice is that I can actually change my scheme. Instead of linear, I could actually have polar dimensioning in and I can actually just click on this particular option here and it actually adds in those dimensions as well on a polar scheme. Now again, these are driven dimensions, hence I can't change them, but at least we do get the functionality where we can be a bit selective on what we choose. Okay, another way of doing this is using the Dim Expert is to actually do it in the model itself. Now what I'm going to do is actually open up uh, a particular component and we can see on here it's just a simple uh, component and I'm going to create my Dim Expert dimensions in the model that then can be inserted in the drawing itself. And again the way that we do this is if I go to my Dim Expert Manager and I create my dimension scheme and what we'd like to do is we're going to go for a prismatic uh, part type rather than turn. We're going to go with plus and minus and we're going to go with linear. 
all I need to do is select my three datum. So I'm going to start off with my primary datum, which is here, my secondary datum, which is this face, and my tertiary datum, which is this face. I want to make sure that all my features are going to be dimension, and we're just going to accept this. And then based on the uh, options that are set in my tools and options, you can see that all the dimensions have now in fact been added. Now what we can do with this is, if we go back to our drawing, and I'm going to go uh, to the uh, second sheet. Okay, and if we go to my second sheet, and I'm going to go to my uh, view palette, and we'll just make sure we've got, I want to bring in uh, the annotations and I want to bring in my dim expert annotations. I'll also go, go with my projected view and I'm just going to bring in my front view and I'm going to just drop that view on there. Now you can see that those dimensions have immediately been brought through. I can bring in my other views as such and we'll just drop in uh, all the different view types and we'll go with an isometric and we'll just place that one in there. Okay, so that's brought in my dim expert dimensions directly from the model.